welcome back to Boys and Ghouls Film Review, folks. I'm your host, Sarah Stevenson. It's my co-host, Mike Stevenson. Hi, guys. So tonight we'll be reviewing a bit of an oldie. Well, not oldie, just... Well, it's sort of oldie. It's, it's old 1982, enough. It's old enough. You know. Yeah, it's old enough. So the, it's called The House Where Evil Dwells. That was released in 1982, I yeah, think. The American Japanese horror film. Yes. An oldie, but... Well, reason, not reason, a bad goodie. Not, it, it's it's in there with the other guys. It's yeah, 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 it's yeah. among the greats, which makes it even more complicated to know which one's the best uh, ones no, to watch. It wouldn't say it's greats, but it, it's in there with the other of its ilk. How's that? Yeah, uh-huh. it's ilk. <laughs> ilk. Ilk's ilk. a good word. Is it? What if the ilks are related to ilks? I don't know. No, whatever. Anyway, anyway it's um, I guess a Japanese American type movie. That's what you said, American yes. Japanese horror film. And before you ask me, guys. No, there's no subtitles in this one. That's in English. Yes, so this doesn't. So this will be a little bit of a different type of movie no. we we would not have normally go for. So uh, now, when it's American Japanese, it's American people in Japan mm-hmm. dealing with uh, a, ho- a Japanese horror related related incident. How's that? Yes, exactly. Mm, yeah. So. That sort of covers it, yeah. doesn't it? And the one thing I like about this is, unlike other movies that deal with, um, this does deals with a haunted house, so you guys know, sort of. and it's different from ordinary haunted house no, ones like like Emily yeah. Deville, um, Deville horror, horror yeah. that we still talk about to this day. Those people still think it was rubbish. And yeah. while that may have been a rubbish movie, no, the, the actual haunting itself. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and we have over the years have had many other haunted related movies. This one takes place away from America or wherever, and take it to a p- different place, you know, in a, with a different history yeah, and a different uh-huh. background. Sort of different from what you expect from ordinary haunts. Oh, well, actually, this has enough, this one has a, it was sim- would be similar to ordinary haunts. Like, it has a past, like a, a dark past, and it has a lot of spooks. Yeah, woo. Okay, here we go. Things like this. Okay. Produced by Martin Cohen, uh, directed by Kevin Connor. Now, it was actually based on a novel by James Hardiman. Yeah. I don't know when it was written. Yeah, or the um, name of the movie, uh, the book, if, even for its time. You, I mean, unless it was the same title as the movie, I don't know. So, can't okay, stay. Go on, Mike. Oh, well, I'm allowed to talk, am I? Yes. Uh, and the screenplay is written by Robert. Uh, Robert Shehosky? S U H O S K Y. There you go. Sorry, I've got the pronunciation wrong there, uh, Robert. Um, now, um, don't know about budget or cinema takings. Um, mm. It does make it awkward, so I don't yeah. know too much about that. Now, getting into the actors, I'm not going to talk about too many of the actors. Well, just uh, focus on the minds we'll be focused on most of the time, Mike. Three. Is what, is, okay. Or four, anyway. Adding the little girl, well, which doesn't No, not, don't worry about the little girl. Oh, I'll put a bell banger in. Banger in. Yeah, considering well, yeah, she's yeah. also part of the cast. But even, she's only a little bit. She only hit, had, Okay. Edward Albert plays Ted Fletcher. Hmm. He's a businessman or something or other. A uh, bit of a journalist. Writer, journalist, writer. something or other. Coming to Japan to do some writing or something yeah, or other and, a, and make yeah. some contacts. A journalist and a photographer. I guess yeah. a photography journalist. Well, yeah, does That's stuff, the yeah. word. Uh, Susan George plays his wife, Laura Fletcher. Now, Doug McClure. Everyone remembers Doug from different movies and TV programs. Mm. He plays Alex Curtis. Uh, and a young girl by the name of uh, Amy Barrett plays Amy Fletcher. The little precocious, I think, 12 or 13-year-old daughter or something. Doesn't matter. Whatever she is. I won't mention all the other pieces there. Um, yeah, most of them are just the bits um, and pieces co-stars and, yeah, and people yeah, don't, that no matter. And stuff, yeah. Not being rude anyway, or anything. Um, what can I say before she starts talking? Read to me. I will say one thing. Um, it was filmed in, uh, in Japan, mm-hmm. um, I gather. From from the looks of it, uh, the the streets and everything, they did some outside shots. So I believe it was actually made in Japan mm. instead of a place looking like Japan. Yeah, I mean, mm. um, yeah, the the streets and they do look like. Um, I so you guys know, I've watched a lot of YouTube videos, today's YouTube videos, yeah. and the streets of of different countries don't 
don't there's don't not always don't look always the same. look the same. You can make them up a little bit, but, but it, had they, that, it did have that feeling, so there's but, a good chance it was yeah, done there. Yeah, yeah. It hasn't changed too much. I mean, what I'm saying is, mm. even when I looked at some. I went to a special event recently where it showed some stock footage that of of Queensland many years ago, like um, Queen Street Mall and the and Coolangatta and all the other places you may have heard of. Mm. Um, most of the spots in the footage there haven't the buildings, the small buildings like stores and stuff, haven't changed too much. Yeah. Anyway, except that they get a new owner every so often, yeah. and you know the whole. Um, you know, given, handing the, the stores like over to someone business, else. Maybe. Stuff like that. Anyway, uh, okay, this, this movie starts off in the past, hmm. in 1840, and uh, then it, uh, it, it sets the, it's what sets the, um, premises the for premise for the rest of the story, which jumps yeah. forward to, um, yeah, uh, whatever year it's supposed to be in nine, about 1982 when Just the movie was made. Just 1982 or whatever, yeah, yeah, considering yeah. that's what the dress is, supposedly. Yeah. I that's think. when the movie was made, so we we'll presume it's that period. Okay, do you want to take it away, Grizzly? Might as well. Yeah. So the story begins, takes place many, many years ago, back into 18... 1840. Yeah, and um, a woman is a, entertaining a young, good-looking good um, Japanese yeah. man, and she's playing her weird harp thing. Well, yeah, that little, that little, that little harpy thing, and she's doing yeah, a little tea ceremony and it. stuff. Yep, yep. And um, he's eating um, some nice food that she prepared, and they're about to get into dessert. Hint, hey, hint, we, nudge, we, nudge, say, say no, no more. more. <laughs> and, but then Hubby hears the music. He comes home he, from... Busy day like, killing people or whatever. Yeah, because he's a samurai. Yeah, that's right, yeah. And... Bear in mind, this is 1800s. Back then, people would still be doing the old-fashioned stuff here and there. Anyway, he comes home, sees her in, about to embrace the, her his well, student. Well, she was half naked or fully naked at the yeah. time, so it was good, they yeah. weren't playing Scrabble. No. See, the other man is one of his students, and when he sees him, or he sees him for a silhouette in the cur- or through the um, the through the door, you know the um. Rice door, whatever they call them. They, I think yeah. they made a rice, whatever they, they yeah, call it. Ra- rice paper, yeah. They rice use that, paper. Yeah. And he charges at the door, b- breaks it open with his samurai sword, Dude. and he kills the lovers. And to Cuts his head off. Yes. What's well, he, he, what, he, he cuts his head, he cuts the guy, student's head off, and he kills the wife. wife. He stabs her, doesn't he? Yeah. yeah. And, then he, and then he takes his dagger, uh, and he prepares himself to sword. kill himself. He saw his dagger. No, you see, he has a dagger and uh, his sword. He then takes out his dagger, he, un- he removes his top layer, and then he stabs himself through the gut. And he dies, of course. And then we flash forward, as Mike said, to 1980-something or other. Well, probably 1982 when the movie was actually made. Yeah. Contemporary days, how's that? Where a writer, um, um, Mr. What's Fletcher, 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 I should mention that. So Fletcher and his wife and his kid, a little they're old girl. come to yeah. Japan to, um, I guess, to, for him to write and yeah, work. Get inspiration and food for his, uh, whatever he's writing. He's writing a, a book. I don't know much about what it's about. It's not important. So... Let me see. Um, Alex has given he's um, the, the also living in Japan, and he's found a nice property for them to stay in yeah, or yeah, hire. Yeah, he's, he's a he's a friend of um, um, Ted's. Ted's and his wife. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so anyway, he gives him a tour of the house and explains um, a bit about the Japanese culture in this world. Um, about how you have to move the sh- your shoes at the door because to avoid making you want to get tracks. rid of the culture crap. Yes, it's not important. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> he welcomes them with gifts and um, champagne and stuff like that. And he makes his leave. And, of course, as they settle in, we see that Ted and Laura are a very lovey-dovey couple. Like they, very nice. They love each other very much. And nothing is between them except when the ghosts start appearing. Yeah, the, go- the ghosts start appearing you can't see them well they can't see them we can we can and, and, the, and the ghosts can actually slip into their bodies and manipulate them yeah mm. see the ghosts i should mention this guys the ghosts um in this are the, is um they're using a special german camera technique known as um i don't know what it's called but in what's it called it, 
Where's it written down this way? It's at the top. Ah, at the top. Yeah, okay. Yes. Shaft. Well, it's just German, as I said before. Schafthausen, I think it is. Yeah. Yeah. And mm. you could see the the um, ghosts. They look they're yeah. they're wearing dark makeup. Yeah, they're on transparent, their eyes. but you can see like, them. And yeah, they had a dark training eyes, like they're doing the old yeah. zombie movies yeah. and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And before you know it, um, so they're watching these people all the time, and sometimes they're, as Mike said. They manipulate both husband and wife and, and their friend along the way, even though he's in a different part of Japan, you know, away from the house. Now, now, now I, I figured out something, and we, we were discussing it when we watched the movie. The ghosts want these people to reenact the night or yeah, the occurrences that led to them killing each other. Okay? Yeah. Now the reason being is once they kill these people, or these people kill each other off. These old spirits get released from the confines of the house, and they go on to where the they're supposed to be going. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, so as Mike pointed out to me, um, so it starts off with ordinary haunting stuff like, oh, um, something flips in the light switch, light goes switches on, flicker on and cap off. Cap goes on. Yeah, little um, things. Annoying weird figures stuff. in the in the doorway that they're not really yeah. there, and. Of course, um, items they find around the house. Like, they find this little small um, item. It's, it's the size of a, I don't know, a 50-cent it's coin. A, it, it, it's a little figurine. It looks like a demon and a lady copulating. Yeah, and I and don't know wood. what it is because they didn't explain it. What is it a, is it a, ch- a charm or is it a talisman? She got it from the old witch lady, yeah, whatever well, it was. Yeah, they, she, in the beginning of the movie. Yeah, Laura Fletch. She finds it in a gap in the yeah. wall because it was lost during um, the um, yeah. previous. Um, so I brought it. No one's clean, probably. So yeah. anyway, <laughs> she shows it to her husband, and he tells a brief analogy of what it is, and she says she's going to keep it, even though having no clue what it's what it symbolizes. Yeah. In this, in most movies, they often say, give you a brief history, what its significance is, obviously, and whether it's, uh, it's it's dangerous or it may be causing the spirits to remain there. Well, whatever. I know, it doesn't matter. So, so anyway, he's they're talking in the bathroom, and, and the, one of the ghosts approaches... Laura, the female one, I should mention, and she starts talking about Alex. And then when she comes out, um, Laura's like wondering, "What did I just say just a few minutes ago? What did I? Why did I say that?" Yeah, uh, exactly. So she wasn't in control of her, yeah, um, yeah her, her actions. Has yeah, it? behind yeah. the scenes, mm. we can tell that Laura is being controlled in, to an extent, like in one scene where they go to a party and and there. Um, Laura is seen um, taking Alex for to a walk outside. Yeah, mm. and there they do you whatever know what, they're going to do. While um, her hubby uh, Ted goes off with some talks with some business Japanese businessmen, and, he goes and out they and go out cl- them and clubbing. Stuff. Yeah, and that sort of stuff. And yeah. throughout the scene, throughout with Ted, he actually has seen the lady, the um, ghost lady, several times. In you know. In the, in the flesh, or not really in the flesh. We, we can see that she's still a ghost, obviously, because her face is no doubt the Ghosty. face of that same woman, obviously. Uh-huh. Anyway, she tells him his her her name, and um, of course, during he was in the, at the point, at the time he's kind of drunk. He drank too much sake or something. Oh, well, I think yeah, yeah, a bit of sake. I think he was drinking here. Yeah. Anyway, um, both. Um, Laura and Ted, they get back to the house and he's, um, I guess, um, he's, um, you know, um, he's kind of, um, um, has a hangover and his wife decides to go out to the shops with her daughter where they buy these interesting wooden masks from... Yeah, they're really creepy. Yeah. He, he, he knew a bit yeah. what they were because he, he studied Japanese yeah, culture, cr- but I've yeah. got no idea what he's talking about. I think they're gnomon masks. I'm not sure mm-hmm. what they call them. The, the, uh, no, no name mask? No, yeah. The masks are wear on stage. Uh, yeah. I think they call them no-name masks or something like that. Yeah, no-name like masks, sorry. I think. Uh, and anyway, the... Guy there, the guy who's selling them to them, um, explains what they what they significantly mean, obviously. And she buys them, and they're like, "What? How much was it, Mike?" 
Oh, I can't remember. I think it, it was 15,000 no, yen. No, no, no. He thought she said 15,000 yen, but she said 50,000 yen. And they had a bit of an argument because that's a lot of money. Yeah. Uh, on their limited budget. And based on 1982, obviously, uh, yeah. you know, yeah. value, dollar value was a lot smaller yeah. back in those days. Yeah, yeah. yeah. they get into a fight yeah. and he, while well, he explains that he's – they've came this far away from their, from America and they, they must – be careful how much they spend over there here. I mean, and, over and there. spending money. Last night, but that was a business thing, making contacts so we can get money. So yeah, yeah. it's a bit of a trade-off, you know. Uh huh. Yeah. Anyway, so anyway, um, they kept the masks, obviously, and hung them up on the wall. Very nice. Very nice, obviously. <laughs> and then um, some other stuff started occurring, like when they're having dinner, and their daughter notices a, a weird, creepy face inside her soup, her soup. and. Very and she interesting. and she tells her parents this, and they shrug, shrug it off, saying eh, it's just yeah. soup, just drink it, whatever. Yeah. But she continues saying that there's creepy masked face in the mu- in the in the cup, yeah. and then uh, being p- the husband being possessed by the f- hus the ghost husband comes possesses him, and, and then he and gets mean and forces it. her to drink it down. And the girl, um, Amy, throws it up, and um, she starts, um, I guess. According to her, she has nightmares, but she can't remember In what the she nightmares what were. Happened, yeah. So it was good because her daddy didn't mean to do it. Yeah. Anyway, so he heads off to. Uh, he actually encounters a monk, you know, for in in two of the scenes in this movie, where he yeah, a, monk a, exp- a Zen monk, yeah, a mm. monk where he lives nearby, and he explains to them that they in they're in a house that is haunted, although at the. Way in the opening of this movie, he was warned by Ted this house was haunted. You'd think a man like that, if you knew about his his house being haunted, it would be a good time no. to actually find a house that yeah. was not cheap. Yeah, but no, he was told it was haunted by his friend. But yeah. a, lot of, a lot of people don't believe in haunted houses. So, oh, yeah, right, okay. Shrug it off. Who cares? But the Zen monk said it was haunted, so he yeah. got any problems. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, grain of salt time. Yeah. 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 He then, in the second encounter at the temple, he, the monk explains to him a little bit about the what? backstory to the the ghosts in having their house. He explains that about the two lovers... Mm. Her husband, who was a samurai, coming home and killing them, and killing himself. And he says, um, he talks about another incident that happened probably um, a while before it happened, where the wife goes to visit a witch and takes a special talisman or trinket from her. But we don't know the conversation between the witch and her. Because there's no subtitles, as I said before. Yeah, the copy we had didn't have any subtitles on it, so we don't know what transpired between... The witch and yeah, the lady, so the old lady from way back in yes, 1840. So, so that's why I can't figure out if the talisman is a is a lucky charm I think it or was, a I think it was I think it was supposed thing. to be a love charm. Uh, and the girl hmm. killed or beat up the witch to get it, and maybe yeah. the witch might have cursed it. Maybe not 100 percent sure. Yeah, that's where my uh, my um, instincts fail me here. Uh-huh. In, anyway, in carry this on. Movie. So yeah. anyway, um, we then cut back to the present, and um, the father um, goes off to. Do some photos in Japan where he's some, in, we're in Japan. I mean, another, another, area. another area where he's taking photos of women diving for pearls or That's whatever right, yeah, oysters. Yeah. I'm not sure. While his wife, um, she um, gets her daughter sent off to a babysitter whom we don't know much about, and she invites Ted. I mean, not Ted. I mean, Alex, she, Alex over for a bit of you know what. Rumpty bumpty. <laughs> yes. Um, anyway, so uh, meanwhile, Ted is when he's taking photos at you know he notices one of the girls turns out to look like the that the ghost girl I mentioned again oh, I've got a funny feeling but she appeared in there along with the ghost girls because like, what how many ghost girls jumped uh, how many real girls jumped in the water mm, I don't know three or four I can't remember four or I don't know I couldn't, I could so many jumped in but mm. she appeared and they were trying to save him from drowning, well, the, the other, good girls, well, while the other one was pulling him down. So. Yeah, that's a bit strange yeah. to me. And, I mean, and, the, and the other one was a bit more naked than the other ones were. The other yeah. ones were fully clothed, had a, yeah. like a, a very light cotton yeah. uh, I know, robe over themselves. I know yeah. the ghosts are trying to reenact the same 
the incident, but why they continue to scare them and try to kill them before the incident. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. It just made a good story. Uh, maybe, <laughs> um, it, uh, maybe it just makes it a little more interesting. Anyway. Well, we've got, to, we've got to fill the gaps with a bit of padding, yes. you know. <laughs> so, anyway, um, while this is happening, um, of course... Um, Laura gets wind of the um, incident and goes to check on her husband at the hospital. He's, um, I guess, he survived the. Oh well, um, yeah, encounter. he's getting over being drowned. Yeah, yeah. And he le- she leaves Laura with a with uh, um, Amy with a babysitter, the same babysitter that we saw earlier. earlier on. And as they later that night, um, as they were sleeping, um, some giant crabs. No, two giant crabs, a lot of small ones. Now, now the two giant crabs in the notes I read. Hmm? were not really giant crabs. I figured that. They were the embodiment of the two ghost guys hmm. who died in the house. Ah. Ah. And they start wailing and, and stuff. They're making some sort of weird yeah. noise, like the a weird, howling noise The or weird stuff. thing about the wailing thingy wings, they, I mean the crabs, they don't, they kind of don't move like ordinary crabs. Oh, come on. Okay, the, the fishing line or the cotton wasn't working no, real good. No, it, it just makes me think of those crawling me- the toys you may have seen. No, nah, they know. weren't, I don't think they're mechanical. I think they'll just be manipulated somehow. No, it wasn't no. looking very good. It wasn't <laughs> as sharp as a CGI, yeah. has it? Anyway, the, they start chasing Amy and they chase the babysitter out of the house and because I think the babysitter is aware that the house is haunted. She was a bit worried to stay overnight. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, Amy Hyde tries to um, get away from these um, crabs. Uh, she climbs uh-huh. a tree. And um, she climbs a tree and she... The crabs climb the tree too. Yeah. I never thought cl- crabs could actually climb a tree. Well, they're ghost crabs. <laughs> they can do anything. She jumps and we find out when the, when the couple returns... That the police arrived there, and they um they tried to try to talk to the police about what just occurred, but of course there's a language barrier here and, and there. And they find Amy is in hospital, so yeah. they go back to the hospital. Yeah, and they found, and she's okay. She's in good condition, and um, Laura says that she'll um, get her grandparents to come. I mean. Take Amy to her grandparents, you know, probably send her on a plane back to her grandparents while they try to sort what was what occurred out, even though they say, or Laura says, oh, she just fell out of a tree, you know, kids. Oh, gosh, the stupidest yeah. excuses yeah. they ever come up with. Anyway, so Ted, it's Ted and Laura alone for the next couple of weeks, and things continue in a nasty fashion. Like, one of the... The ha- the mask flies off the wall and nearly hits um, Laura at one point. Mm. And that's right. Yeah, yeah. Laura says to her husband that the things are not getting better. Things and are getting worse. Things mm. are getting worse. Of course, um, he takes the samurai sword and starts sledging, cutting up the um, the de- the, the mask. devil mask, and, and she's feeling and she starts to feel, feel pain to the pains. body. Ah. And he then notices this, and she's saying that he, yeah, she feels like the sword is cutting into her something like that. So he, he pops out for a minute. Yeah. He then realizes, so he goes to the monk and explains the situation. And so the monk suggests that they exercise the spirits out of the house. Yeah. So at least give them time to for the next day for them to, le- to yeah, leave. To get out of there safely and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so he does a bit of um, um, a... You know, and mixes them. Yeah, they, yeah, yeah, they exercises that, the house. They, they burn those little uh, herby sort of uh, reedy things. Yeah. Yeah, 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 He starts chanting and... The, and putting all those, little, those notes up, those little talisman yeah, notes. The talisman. Yeah, talisman. Yeah. And while he's doing this, um, the ghosts are... Backing away. Backing away yeah. because of... And they soon enough are outside the house. And, and he explains to Ted, don't, don't open, let anyone in. You don't open door, no, don't let that anybody means, in. Yeah. Yeah. No, nothing. Oh. no pizza delivery boys. Yeah, no, so these guys know... Laura, before Ted ran off to visit the monk, she told she kind of phoned Ted to explain to him that they must end their you know what. So she told them him that, and the before and before the monk arrived, the ghosts start yelling and screeching at her like they just it feels like they were being their plans are being fouled by her obviously because they wanted. They want her, her and her hubby and her Ted to reenact the, the, their crime so they can flee the um, the house. Yeah, so you guys can escape. Yeah. And of course, okay. So when once the monk does the exercising and leaves, 
Uh, Ted t- comforts Laura, telling her, don't worry, everything will be fine, yada, yada. Uh, but, but then, then Laura burst well, out that, that she and had Ted enough. had an affair. And she, Ted, I mean, not Ted, I mean, Laura and Alex had an affair, yeah, sorry. And so and, Ted's a little bit taken aback here. Yeah, Alex soon arrives and he starts knocking on the door. And guess what? And then They t- open the door and let him in. And Ted, I'm told, don't open the door to anybody. Yeah, Ted mm. opens the door and he starts beating Alex to pieces. And then they get two samurai swords yeah. out and start fighting each Before other. Before we get to the oh. samurai swords, the <laughs> ghosts <laughs> um, start possessing e- each one of them and they start oh, fighting yeah. like right. they were professional the karate, um, guys. karate guys. Yeah, yeah. I know karate, so I know exactly yeah. what the and fighting doing, technique they're, they're, they're is. And they're fighting karate style, yeah. which obviously they would not necessarily meaning, have known. Meaning yeah. the ghosts are now doing reenacting the... It's not exactly the same thing, considering how close different. Enough. It's close enough. Yeah. Then they take the samurai swords, and even um, Laura, now possessed by the wife, is now handing um, Ted his samurai sword, which is odd because that's not what she would have done in the in the previous scene. But doesn't no, but matter. she knows he has to cut the other guy's head off. Yeah, yeah. they fight, and eventually, using two of the both his Ted sword and Alex's sword, he cuts into. Um, Alex's head and chops it off. Yeah, like a big pair of scissors. Not yeah. bad. Laura mm-hmm. screams and tries to approach her husband, and when she's about to hug him, and she gets stabbed. Stab and one he... you know, short sword was it? Yeah, the dagger. Yeah, yeah. and she yeah. falls to the floor, and Ted removes his um, shirt. shirt, and he Does his uses carry, the same thing bit. with the with a samurai sword, killing himself. And the ghosts emerge from the dead bodies, and the um Jap- the Japanese ghosts, I mean, and they start making their way to the front to the back door, and they head out and into they, the darkness. Smiles on the faces and stuff. Yeah. And then we watch as um, it uh, it's all quiet, and we suspect that now Ted, Alex, and Laura are now the ghosts living inside yeah, the well, house. Yeah, we got to think they did an outside shot of the house. Yeah. Didn't they? Yeah. After the ghosts left. Yeah. You're going, hmm, mm. and I all quiet again. Who is it? Yes. And that's where, and then we fade to black about here, wasn't it? Yes, it did. So leaving, uh, ah, are they going to be the new ghosties? It's no yeah. doubt, Mike. I mean, considering that the ghosts need someone to take over, it's just like, yeah, um, yeah. like a business. They've been doing, they've been running the business for hundred yeah. years or more, you know. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, it's kind of interesting that Ted, that he was possessed. By the um, the the ghost of the student, obviously, and he started having an affair with um, Laura, obviously. But it makes you wonder how come how did the ghost travel that far away, astral projection, to him to get him, you know, him to do this dirty deed? Mm. Unless um, it was he yeah. was uh, controlled. Yeah, as yeah, well, 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 actually. Uh, guys are often controlled by their lower regions. Mm, you know, true, I true. can't say the word. Mm, uh, on the podcast, as I said, you before, know what yeah. I mean. As I said before, I may not have mentioned this to before, guys, but sometimes if a ghost, if you're a vulnerable spirit, like a vulnerable person, and you're not prepared for what's to come in a haunted house, the ghosts from that house may attach themselves to you accidentally, and they may f- kind of follow you, you know, and do things while, you know, in the process. I mean, I remember somewhere someone told me, um, if you're not too careful, if you're not prepared, like you're not, if you're not open-minded or anything like that, you could easily get possessed by a ghost or or something like that. And it could happen. I mean, mm. I understand that. I mean, if you're not, if you're not prepared and you're, you're not willing to accept the fact that, that these that there might be hostile ghosts or forces around, you may have exactly. to be careful about it. So, anyway, I do think that it's an interesting approach in this movie, and I think it's, as always, that it's interesting how, throughout this movie, the people knew that they were haunted by ghosts, and yet they continued to stay in that place. Even Ted said he wanted to continue writing his book or writing the whatever hmm. he's doing there. I mean, he could have... they. Could, if they knew that the place was haunted, they could have, um, after Amy's, um, you know, fall, they could have just up and left right there, you know, go, packed a bag, go to a hotel, yeah, stay exactly. there for a couple of nights take and, a typewriter back and, and take a typewriter yeah. there and write, finish writing the book there. 
Remember typewriters? Yeah, tick, 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 tick. Well, that's what he had. Yeah, yeah, a little portable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't seen too many of those around lately. I mean, lots Not of so many, no. came out. Yeah, but anyway. Go on, Mike. So, um, what did you think of this movie? Well, wait a minute. What? The critics. Ah, right. Well, the reception, guys. Ah. What was their reactions to that mo- to this movie? I'm glad you asked. I've got no idea. Now, there's, only, there's only two brief notes there, but both indicate that it was not too bad from the critic's perspective. Not an A grader, not a, you know, but, yeah, uh, well, well a, a good, acceptable uh, product. How's that? Uh-huh. Aha. Uh-huh. Mm. Now, my thoughts on it. Okay. Typical of that period, yes, late seventies, early eighties sort of movies. These would turn these out pretty quick, as yeah. far as I'm aware. Well, that for I can see anyway. They had the same sort of basic storylines. Let's throw a bit of sex in there. Let's do a bit of this. Let's do a bit of that. And the, the, the mix sometimes works. This wasn't wasn't too bad. Um, I think for me, the only thing that pulled it back was. Uh, a couple of parts are a bit slow, but it yeah. wasn't too bad. Mm. Um, and they could have done something a bit better with some some scenes. But mm. um, and uh, yeah, I, look honestly, I, I can't find too many things wrong with it. It's just mm. that it wasn't dynamic like an A movie, mm. you know, like a good A movie would be today. So it doesn't quite reach the mark yeah. for me. I, yeah, yeah, I I, mm. I do agree that mm. that. But then again, this was like an experimental film. So they were kind of doing something that was very brand new. Well, like instead of you um, – instead of not seeing the ghost – I mean instead of, um, of us trying to figure out if there's ghosts there, we could see the ghosts and we could see what they're about to do in the hmm, scene. Exactly. Like, like one ghost, hmm. um, we see flips a, um, a, 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 a bowl in one scene and, and the kid gets – blame yes, for it there's a couple of things there we're wondering why but yeah but like they're just yeah. doing it like what like why, why turn the light on and off why turn the tap on why they're supposed to be getting these people to have sex and kill each other yeah. i just don't understand the other little bits uh-huh. yeah and why, yeah. why 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 scare the little girl oh maybe to get rid of her yeah because it, she wasn't part of the equation exactly uh, considering that it's three people um, they have to occupy in yeah. the scene. Yeah, they wanted to get rid of the little girl out of the house. They wanted to scare her away. And yeah, 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 yeah. That, that could have been it. Yeah. Mm. It would be interesting in a sequel, if there were a sequel, that she comes back and and tries to find out what how her parents may have gotten killed. And she's psychic and, and she can actually see the ghost. That'd be really good too. That would be cool. Mommy and Daddy are still here. And well, Alex. she did yeah. see <laughs> the ghost inside her cup. That's, Although, that's because the ghost wanted to see the ghost's face yeah. inside the cup. Although um, ghosts sometimes, if they want to, they can get you to see them if, you, they, if they want if to. If they want. If they don't, can I, but, can I see them? I but I think there's a big chance some ghosts don't want people to be seen. I mean, they do want to be seen, but at the same time, you can't see them. I think yeah. it usually depends on how strong they want you to see them. Exactly. Yeah. They're looking ghost. Mm, something like that. Yeah, for, for, for rich ways to stuff. But I don't think yeah. it matters how much you they want to see you. I think it usually matters um, yeah. how much they... Well, I don't know really, to be honest, yeah. about the equation about this sort of thing. I don't know the. Yeah. I don't know the um, the the whole universe's yeah. mysteries. Yeah, so Patrick Swayze, he couldn't be seen by anybody, but he could be sensed, sensed, and be have his presence felt by going for another human body. Yeah. Yeah. However, there's no there's no explanation to how this see. universe works. And then some other movies, you got a ghost who walks around. And, Hello, ghosty, how are you? I'm fine. Not knowing they're a ghost, and they just disappear. Mm-hmm. Okay, that must have been a ghost. Aha. Uh-huh. Yeah, mm-hmm. I do think it is an interesting movie. The idea that we do see the ghosts wandering around, um, uh, sort of watching, stalking the people, the, um, yeah. them instead of hiding behind the scenes. Even yeah. though there was a scene where you see them peeking around the corner. And it's a bit strange because yeah. why would they be peeking yeah, around, around the corner? You no one can see them. That's a bit funny, that It's one. a bit yeah. weird because why would they be peeking around the corner when actually no one can see them? And yeah, bugger that, eh? When most of the time they, you do, they, when they want to be seen eventually uh, and they, they do make a lasting impression in those, in those scenes, but the other times you just see the audience see well, them. Well, if they appeared to the people, they could have left the lasting impression in their underpants. Mm. That's another thing, Mike. How did they know? How did the how did 
the Japanese knew this house was haunted. They had one murder incident, and unless previous yeah. people who lived there have enc- had seen, been scared off by ghosts, yeah, maybe seen uh, by the ghosts, and they didn't stay more than one night or more than one day. Yeah. Or maybe the, the fact that the ghosts were looking for the right candidates to possess. Exactly. Like, there was, I mean, maybe the previous occupants who lived there that didn't weren't married. Maybe they didn't have a wife. Maybe they were, oh. maybe some of them were just a, a single um, person living there at the time. Oh my God. I'm only guessing because um, why else Ted, Laura, and um, Alex all suddenly... Unless uh, um, they just had to pick the right people with the right credentials. Exactly. Like, <laughs> t- like the fact that um, Alex was a bachelor and stuff like that. Well, yeah, they needed a love interest who didn't have. He's not bound by. He, he didn't have a spare wheel. Yeah, yeah. It, has that. yeah it, it had to be a single person and a married couple. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> That's and awesome. they tried to st- make the situation as stressful as possible between Laura and Ted. So they used everything in their powers to make it look like they're having a mental breakdown between them, making okay. their relationship on an unsteady track. Mm-hmm. So um, even though – in and when they were mostly stressed, that made them vulnerable to um, the ghosts. The ghosts. To, manip- to manipulate them and stuff. Yeah, think of it. I mean, when Ted invited uh, Alex inside the house, he was already going to get possessed by the um, it, Well, evil yeah, ghost. and he was already angry because his wife just said, I, I had an affair with Alex. Yeah, well, yeah. there you go. That that would really get your dander up, wouldn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And it um, w- would lose all reason, I guess that's the term. Well. I mean, people, when they get angry, they take all reason, all, th- all th- thoughts of previously would, like think, would disappear from your brain. I would like to brain. think most people would stay a bit more in control and wouldn't try to kill the other person. Yeah. However, However, this is a movie. This is a movie, and this is back in the 1980s too, and they wanted to end the movie with a really yeah, interesting and, twist. And everyone died. That wasn't bad. Like Shakespeare sort of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shakespearean tragedy. Everyone stuffed it. Yeah, well, yeah. Yeah, it would still be an interesting sequel if their daughter came back there and tried to find out what caused the murder. And, and she finds a little charm. Yeah. And, and, and then maybe... And finds out what it means, too. Uh, and maybe, just maybe the charm might be the thing that might be binding them to, to the, the house. house. Uh, I, I'm just thinking, like, House on uh, Haunted Hills, guys. There was, a, there was a charm, there was a talisman in that one, and it got people thinking that it was causing the, the haunted house, I mean, the House on Haunted Hill to get haunted, stuff like that. Stop of that. course, um, not everyone feels that way about... Who knows what this charm might have been? It could have been, like what Mike says, it could be a charm for... Um, I think it, it, the, the, the demon was making passionate love to a female. They wrapped in that really nice little tight little ball, you know, mm. like, you know, it, you know, up close and personal. Yeah. So, yeah, I just think it was some sort of love charm. Yeah, and I think... But invoking your demon yeah. to make it work. Yeah, yeah and whatever, I think yeah. the witch that she stole it from may have provoked her, the witch, to cast a, a curse on her and her lover and... Possibly the hu- her husband too, Probably. and um, that was attached to the little tr- little thingy wing, obviously. Mm. So it, it caused a bit of an undesirable um, bit of misfortune there. When you think about it, um, who knows? I still wish I knew what that little charm was. I mean, if it was a, um, I think it's some sort of a love charm. To hang on. I think the charm was a charm. To make the person that you want desire you, mm, yeah. So she wanted that, so she can make love to this the, her husband's student. Remember? Mm, yeah, that, that could be it. So maybe that helped her uh, weave magic over him mm. and get control over him. Mm. Probably. Mm. There you go. Yeah. Mm. So anyway, this um, um, movie was the Japanese ghost story was set and shot in Japan, but was well, an American Japanese co-produced with mm. all three that. Li- Lead actors from either the UK or US, well, with the, the major US, uh, of the crew and they, support cast, have been, you know, Japanese. Well, considering well, well look at it. The, the, Edward Albert, Susan George, and Doug McCool were American. True. I didn't hear any Pommy accents, okay? I'm just saying, like, that. I think they're trying to say here is that 
when they were were filming in Japan, they had a a, cr um, a Japanese crew on standby to look after the that particular yeah. side to filming in in that country. Of course, I guess they yeah. would have to. But also, learn all the, the other actors, all the other cast were Japanese. Of course, the uh, of course the act those actors. Yeah, well, you can't well, really cast an an English or uh, actor to well, play um, a Japanese. It would just Christopher Lee played Fu Manchu. Yeah, back in the day. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Warren mm -hmm. Olin played Charlie Chan. Yeah. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I did think. I did wonder. Um, this house that they're living in is a traditional Japanese house, so these guys know. Yeah, yeah, they're sliding doors with the rice paper, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Very nice. I have been wondering whether or not they still had traditional houses up there in China and J Japan, obviously. Like I told and you. And <laughs> there are a few, probably maybe. Um, a few f um, well, um, well, wealthy families may maintain them and turn them into a sort of um, the, summer house, a summer house, yeah, or just yeah, back here, back or just yard. something that they just normally keep yeah. for guest visits, stuff like what, that. What I was going to say, you wouldn't find in the city areas, I wouldn't think, but in the regional areas, you might find some, yeah. probably. Yeah. yeah, some of them, yeah. I guess, would have been converted to make into. Firewood. No. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> Into um, either a, a tea house or maybe a restaurant. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's tough. Depending on um, the the people who may maintain them after all these years. I yeah. mean, like we often have um, old houses up here and sometimes we turn them into something interesting so we don't end up throwing it away or con or or just removing it. Yeah. We had a house down <clears throat> in Brisbane. Um, in, I think it was South Brisbane or South Bank where it, it used to be um, an ordinary house that was near our train station, but it's now turned into a sort of, um, into a restaurant and place like that next, with a big skyscraper above it, obviously. It's pretty oh, interesting. Oh, that's near our, um, South Bank, not South Bank, the, um, yeah, that, yeah. the train station. Yeah, there. yeah, yeah it yeah, just yeah. was an old house. It had not, no... Um, yeah, you know, you're very nice. Uh, ornate old hundred odd year house yeah. or something rather very nice. Yeah, I'm yeah. guessing the owners or the people who owned the property mm. probably wanted to convert it to something useful, so they handed no, it. Over. Been, no, it could have been heritage listed. Yeah, yeah. I don't know about you guys in, uh, in uh, other countries, but we have properties over here heritage listed, so you can't bulldoze them. You cannot rebuild there. What you have to do is the government will give you so much money per year to help maintain the old building. Yeah, yeah. so they kind of um, kept the building and mm. turned it into something inside. Yeah. So it will have a useful, you know, thing. A second, third life. A third life out of it. Mm. So, anyway, there are houses up here that we do keep. Are we doing a, a real estate uh, commentary now? Or? I can't help it, Mike, because <laughs> I am... Interest. I do like like to discuss um, a little bit of the old style of of how those houses. I mean, uh, we don't have too many of those. Too many. I think at the moment, Jap some Japanese and Asian and Chinese people they they live in modern day places. Some of them. Yeah, a lot of them. Yeah, they live in their uh, cities area. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of people even in other countries. They've, they've left the regional areas to go in the city for work and stuff. So yeah. Yeah, others would Culture's probably. Culture's changing yeah. a little bit. Others would try to would live in small, down downsized places. You know, not expensive. I mean, I've seen the I've seen. I went online, obviously, and saw the houses people live in. They're, most of them live in a, a ver very, very low cost type places. They're not low cost. Yeah, well, depending on who, you, <laughs> who you're watching on YouTube, and others um, who may have either enough money will be able to buy a, a pro you no know, proper housing house. You mm, know, yeah. something with a nice um, foundation, nice oh, house. Oh you know stuff like that yeah. and it depends on the individual so it's actually interesting to find out about housing in, in japan here in the anyway year. i mean i did think it was cool in in one scene we do see um some interesting japanese festival they had i think it was i wasn't sure which festival yeah, it they're was. doing something they're dancing and doing yeah. or something like tai chi or something or whatever yeah. they're doing something yeah, yeah. dances and, and wearing kimono I yeah, mean, kimonos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was a lot of kimonos in this one. We saw um, the husband wearing the sort of a white one. I think it was. I wasn't sure what what would you call, but it looked more like a cry uniform to me. Sorry, guys. Um, well, he's a samurai. They, they, that's where do you think the uh, karate uniform designs came from? 
Yeah. Well, anyway, uh -huh. um, Ted is not a samurai. Not that no, I'm aware of. But anyway, the style hmm. is still there, and so you, you're, he's, he, so he shave coats and stuff you guys used to wear. Mm, true. Were a bit like that as well. It had a nice thing and a belt around it, tied tight together. Yeah, true, same, true. Same sort of style. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, um, today's clothes. These today Japanese they wear mo modern we Western grade clothing. This? We're going to talk about clothes now. It's in, it's in real estate. Okay. And, um, okay. So. Um, um, the reception, um, we don't know. No, I told you that. That's, 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 it's pretty good, but it wasn't great. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah so um, I think it's not too bad. It has a different approach to the other haunted houses. I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't say, like Mike here, that it was an A movie. It's just, it's probably in between yeah, an I'll A say, and a B. A, yeah, I'd say it's in between. Yeah, but it's probably a, sort of an A-ish sort of movie mm -hmm. for its time back in the 80s. Yeah. But mm. it wouldn't rate as an A movie today, mm. have it? I did yeah. think it was interesting, especially the approach they went with. Anyway, um, and it's could have been a telling movie too. I don't know. It may have, yeah. Mike. It mm. may have. So rating. So I'm going to give this movie. Uh, I think I'm going to give it an eight and a half out of ten. Mm. Uh, if that's my opinion, that's okay. I'll, I'll think about an eight myself. But uh, yeah, I, I, eight, eight will do for me. And since you got eight and a half, that's not too bad. Yeah, well, you eight know, is uh, my um the my my opinion about it. <laughs> Excuse me. Anyway, um, if 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 I rated it higher, I would probably would have made it nailed it as nine. But there were some things I didn't like about yeah. it, like um the fact when they. Um, their daughter got hurt. They 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 still stayed in the house, even though the whole point of this is to keep them in the yeah. them in the house while um, and keep the story rolling with the, what the ghosts plan. Oh, I should mention during the fight scene where between Ted and Alex, the ghosts looked like they were, you know. Um, Begging them on like in a sumo match, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like yeah. saying, "Go, get, go, get, jab, jab, And when they were vulnerable, um, they then started, um, you know, morphing into their bodies and started um, changing the um, their moves, turning it from yeah. ordinary left hook, right hook to modern day moves. Japanese karate style. Yeah. And stuff like that. I don't know what kind of martial artists they had on set when they had to learn these moves. They probably had to have someone on set to teach them. Some, some choreographer. Yeah. I mean, some, some martial arts person. Yeah. yeah. And, of course... Um, they didn't want to hurt each other. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's still an interesting approach. Instead of just the ordinary exercise the house and then everything's all good and they go back yeah, home and they live happily ever after. I mean, she still had an affair, even though he, she, he should have realised it wasn't of her own doing. She, wa it shouldn't, she wasn't in the right mind and say, I don't know if Alex was in the right frame well, of mind either. Well, there you go. Okay. Do you want to so, call now? now oh, oh, where to get it? Uh -huh. Where to get it, guys. Okay. Right. Okay. Hmm. eBay appears to be plenty for sale. Right. Be careful. Now, drum roll. There might be some VHS copies in there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Make sure you don't get a VHS copy unless you have a VHS player. Mm. Okay. So make sure it's a DVD. Okay. Now, um, yeah, so plenty mm. for sale on eBay. Amazon doesn't appear to have any for sale, but mm. it is rentable. Mm. Now, if you don't want to mm -hmm. buy it or rent it or whatever, I believe YouTube might have a copy of it. That sounds good. I think. I think I was going there the other day. Oh, there's one. I think so. It might be in there. So, but I would have a look at YouTube first if you don't spend your money. But if not, rent it for Amazon. Yeah, it's it's mm. it's, it's, it's it's a cheap watch. It's not a bad flick, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, but yeah. it's, it's not top of the pile. You yeah, know? yeah. I mean, it's different. I mean, it takes place in a place that's away from you know the American haunted houses sort of thing. Mm. It takes you to a a world that has different. Um, Different, um, a different historic approach to yeah. to haunted houses. Yeah. And uh, now, and, uh, and, a, and uh, with that, the part I sort of like about these movies is it's carried by three people. Yeah, you don't have a cast of thousands. Nope, you, you don't need have, to. You have bit, no, you have, you have bit people coming in out the, the monk and whatever and mm -hmm. different things, but it's basically a story centered around three people. Mm -hmm. So you don't have a complicated storyline. 
mm-hmm. and side stories, another side story, and something else going on. It's straight in there, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, she's having an affair, yada, yada, yeah. yada, everyone kills each other, everyone lives happily ever after. Yeah. 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 It was weird that, imagine them when the monk arrived the next day, he probably would have been Oops. shocked. Oops, late. Yeah. And the police would report it as a... Um, a mass um, well, yeah. killing or well, no, murder. he killed himself. The other two had been killed, so yeah. a murder suicide. That's it. There you go. Yeah. Go away. Leave Although away. the yeah. locals will know it, it was another uh, the monkey, and um, uh, the monk would know. Yes. Uh, oh yes. Um, anyway, do I kill this now before we go on to real estate or clothing again? Or sorry, guys. <laughs> so another interesting thing was the um, the amount of mu- rent that the Fletchers paid for the house in. That Back area. In those days. Um, it Jap- it was Japanese. Was um, the U.S. It was um, the money would have been in U.S. would have been two hundred and fifty per month. Which, or in in, yeah. in Japanese, it would be forty seven thousand Japanese yen. You know that's the term. I mean, if you don't understand what I'm talking about, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, people yeah. understand. Okay, mm. right. I mean, um, nowadays, um, the the higher the number. The uh, or Sarah, you what sh- people know what you're talking about? Yeah. They're not, they're not stupid. I know, but there are some people who no, don't understand what... the difference between what yen is that mm. the yen might be worth a cent or whatever in the, you know, in our, our currency, or less than a cent or part of a cent or mm-hmm. whatever. And it's like um, American dollar yeah. is probably uh, yeah. value here is... Um, what is it? Dollar uh, thirty Australian or something yeah. or other. That's all yeah. stuff. Yeah. When I saw it in one movie one time, I couldn't believe my eyeballs. One time, I kept, when I looked at the um, cost, yeah. I thought, "Oh my gosh, are you t- telling me this is like f- that much money? You're kidding me! I couldn't even spend that." And then I find out, it's "Oh, not, it's not that high. It's just um." Well, the, it's the old Italian lira used to be really cheap. Yeah, like uh, millions of lira, you know, you have a, hunt, a 10 thousand lira in bank note or something, rather. You know, mm-hmm. things like that. Really ridiculous. But yeah. anyway, anyway, calls quits now. Yes. So, <laughs> as Mike says, um, where where we could find it, we could find it on either. Yeah. Uh, you got YouTube. I think I saw a YouTube listing there, but you can rent it through Amazon. Mm-hmm. You can't you can't buy it there, but there are appears to be plenty on eBay. But watch out for VHS copies. Yes, and so you can find it there. So. Be sure, to, if you do find it, guys, please um, let us know in the comments what you guys think of this movie. As I and as I said before in the past, we respect your opinion and we hope you respect yeah. ours. Yeah, the copy we got didn't have the Japanese subtitles when the lady was talking to uh, the mm, witch. Uh, so we don't know what actually transpired. No. You didn't need subtitles for the first bit where the lovers were having sex and whatever. No. There was very little dialogue. Mm-hmm. As no, in you fact, well they were in it. slow motion in most yeah, of that bit, so, so yeah. you would not be able all, to hear their dialogue. Visual, so. um, but that, that's only, you get him, get him in place go, oh, yeah, right, so he wants a talisman, he wants to make love to somebody, here's a good groovy thing. The witch says, I'm not going to give it to you, it's to pay me, and she stole yeah. anyway. And pay me 4,000 right. yen yeah. and I'll make it a deal. Yeah, stuff like that. Or I'll tell your husband, <laughs> whatever. Anyway. Yeah. yeah. So we'll never know what they the, But your what copy might have in it. That one. Yeah, your copy might have it. We but, may, yeah, you may get lucky, mm, guys. Yeah. Um, if there's um, a subtitle um, in that for that yeah. sort of thing, anyway. which will be handy. Anyway. So that's it from us, guys. Now. So um, be sure to check the movie out and let us know what you guys think of the movie. As we often said in the past, we respect your opinion and I hope we respect ours. If you ours. like it. Tell us. Tell us if you if like you it. If you don't like it, tell, tell us. us if you, yeah. If but you do. don't just say, I like it, don't like it. I like it because, or I don't like it because. Be really nice to get a bit more than a thumbs up on a, an emoticon or something and rather yeah. than that's it. You know? I, yeah, I like it, if guys, if you give me a few comments. Yeah, it's, yeah, it'd be nice. Yeah, it will be nice feedback. to be nice. get yeah. some feedback. So, anyway, thanks for listening to our latest podcast, everyone. Love you, guys. We'll see you guys next time, and we'll look forward to hearing from you guys. So, this is Sarah Stevenson. Hey, Michael. Saying see you guys around on Boys and Ghouls. Bye for now. Bye.